Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I thought it about time to have a look at the new player experience again as we enter 2018. There's been a huge influx of new players over the past few weeks, so it seems like the perfect time to go ahead and do that. Now the game does have a reputation of being very hard to get into, and that's largely down to the fact that the game simply does not hold your hand. And some people would perhaps say that in itself is a good introduction to the world of Elite Dangerous. That really is the nature of the galaxy in which we play. However, over the past year or so, the new player experience has had quite a few improvements placed on it. So, yep, let's dive right in and have a look to see if those changes really do make any difference and see if they actually help the player. So if you are a new player yourself to the game, you should also be able to use this video as a little bit of a guide to get yourself going through the game in the first couple of hours. And the first thing you probably have noticed is that my UI is blue. And that's down to a modification I've done in one of the PC files. And I will put a link below showing you how to do that if you're so inclined. Now when you first get into the game, you should be able to get a mission message here. And you can access this through the comms panel at the top. I believe by default the key is number 2 on the keyboard to access this comms panel and you can use the uh, WASD keys to navigate around the menus there. Now be aware this mission doesn't always come through straight away so you may have to wait for it a while or you may have to log out and log back in until it eventually appears. So in short this is the first mission you'll get and it is actually a brand new player mission and will give you some instructions on how to leave the station. You'll also get updated messages en route telling you where to go and what to do in order to complete this mission. Unfortunately, beyond that, the game doesn't give you any direct instructions on how to control your ship or leave the station, but there are some rather good training missions or tutorial missions that you can do from the main menu, and these will give you pretty much everything you need in order to fly your ship, undock, travel and dock at the other end. Now I've done a bit of a run through of these and they are voice acted and they're well worth doing if you're new to the game. Corridor. Your ship's still mass locked by the station. Once you get beyond five kilometers, you'll be able to make the jump to Supercruise. So, back to the starter mission now. I've left the station you start out in, and once you get a little distance from the station, you'll get an updated mission here, or updated message rather. So, the idea is to get to another station, dock there, access the mission board, and there you'll be introduced to a mission tutor. So far, so good then. The handed in this mission will give you your first 10,000 credits and also serve as a basic introduction to how the mission system actually works within Elite. So once you've completed this mission, you'll get yet another message, and this one is even better. It'll introduce you to a bunch of other tutors. You can take your pick between trade, combat, exploration, and surface missions. Each one requires you to go to a specific station, which is listed in the message itself. But I wanted to see just how good these introductory missions actually are, and to see whether or not they actually give players enough information. So with that in mind, I decided to have a look at the trade mission giver. Now trading is particularly opaque within Elite, I've always found, because basically you just don't get enough information on where to buy products from or where to sell them at a good price. The mission then asks for you to get one unit of fish, a widely available commodity that's also a very, very cheap. The mission tells you to use the galaxy map to find trade data and gives you some basic instructions on how to do that. So going over to the galaxy map here and looking to see where we can find fish, we can see that Arrow 8, the place that gave me the mission itself, does export fish. And you can see that by the arrows actually flowing away from the system. So let's head into the system menu and see if we can find any more information here. At this point, it does get a bit vague because it doesn't tell players to do this, but with a bit of intuition, you could probably figure this bit out at the very least. And if we look at each station, we look at the details from the tab there at the top, you can see which products these stations actually export. And it's at this point that you can see the game just doesn't give you enough information. Unfortunately, this map only lists uh, some of the information or some of the products that the stations export and doesn't tell you everything that they sell. So even though then that the galaxy map tells you that this system does export fish, you can't see from which base that's actually uh, selling. So the only way to do this, well there's two ways, you can dock at each station in turn and try and check the commodities market, or you can use an external resource. Now this website I've mentioned a lot of times before is called eddb.io, and basically it contains a database that's updated with player information of what products are available where. Now this lack of information has basically been the way trading has worked in Elite since day one. However, do keep in mind that Frontier are very much aware of this, and it's something they're looking to fix in the first quarter update of this year. 
So with that update, trading is set to get a bit of an overhaul with the intent to give players better access to trade information so they can make more informed choices about what to trade and how to trade. But as of right at this moment, it's still rather difficult for a new player and you're going to hit a little bit of a brick wall on this particular mission, so I do highly recommend you use the external website that I mentioned. So the website told me to go to Ackerman Market, which is indeed in the system Erevant, where I'm currently located, and once you've bought your one unit of fish, you'll get another updated message. And this one introduces you to Mission Branch Inn, basically where the mission gives you a choice to deliver a product to either one station, that's the original one, or a different one. And if you go for the different one, you can often get a bit of a bonus in terms of credits. Once you've completed that, you'll get yet another message. This one informs you that you can go and do a bit of mining if you're so inclined. And if you go to one of the stations, they will offer you a follow-on mission to enable you to do that. So at this point, the new player is going to need a little bit of information about outfitting. Now it's possible they may have experimented and figured this out, but otherwise the game would not have given them any information on how to do this. Fortunately, there are a few videos available in the training menu. However, most of them are extremely out of date, many are created in 2014, but the basis of the information does serve to help. Then you've got the mining tutorial, and that's well worth doing. I've been told this particular belt has some valuable ore on offer. So let's get to work. If you deploy your hard points, I'll wait here and keep an eye out for any pirate activity. So this training mission will give players pretty much everything they need to know about mining itself, and you can access it through the main menu. It actually does a very good job of walking you through the entire process. So back to the main game then. The mission you get here for mining will actually tell you to mine some water and that you'll need to go and find an icy planetary ring, although it doesn't exactly tell you how to do that. So go to the system map, look at the details here for a planet, and you can see the ring type, and this example is icy. So up to this point, the game has done a pretty good job of getting players from A to B and through the entire process. It does slip up a little bit here though, and only gives you very basic information on how to find a ring system. It'd be nice if you got updated missions or updated messages along the way, telling you where to go. But once you are in the ring system, you're about to follow the instructions you got from the training mission, and you're about to get everything you need in order to complete the mission. So once you've got this, you'll be told to go off to Cleave Hub to sell the product, and after that, you'll be told you've completed the introduction to trading. And after that, there are of course the other introductory missions to exploration, to combat, as well as surface missions. So overall, there's been some dramatic improvements over the past year or so to uh, the new player experience, and things are in a much better place now. Assuming of course you get that first starting mission and know how to access it, after all the game doesn't tell you how to do that. And the main problems, for example the lack of information with trading, are due to be fixed at the early point of this year. So there we go then, a pretty good improvement overall. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.